stop. Any mistake around his mouth. I just pray that this is another destroyed person. Just drinking codeine all over the place. They use, they use syringe now. So, so, so the thing is, these young people, we can, they, they, they practice. All those parties that exist uh, only uh, on, on those the parties, the newspaper. they can actually work on these children and tell them that, look, the future belongs to you. You know, imagine the kind of speech that Obama uh, read after his party lost the election, that second, uh, the second term of uh, George W. Bush. Yeah. The kind of speech, that was in speech. Yes, so that I remember speech. that was what yeah. launched him out. That was I remember, popular. yeah. And what was, was that? Uh, the Democratic Convention. Uh, 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 if someone can galvanize the youth like that, yeah. these elderly people will be will be shunted aside in our in our political permanent. All right. For now, we're let's take this break. When we come back, we'll talk more. We're still on this topic. Please uh, don't go away. It's still journalist Sangha. We'll be right back. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Journalist Anga. We're reaching you live from Television Continental here in Lagos, Nigeria. And we're just treating something that is hot. That is the bombshell of Olusegun Obasanjo advising, advising President Muhammadu Buhari to not to recontest the 2019 election. Gentlemen, um, Babajide, if we look at the way things are going, and let's say eventually this president decide that look i've been advised that if i'm in good health and the way i feel i'm up to the task yeah. and it is my re constitutional res um, 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 entitlement to seek the re-election what and what must Muhammad Bari put in place in terms of governizing support base? Now, he has to build structures because it is not enough for us to just say, okay, let's have uh, powerful people, head agencies, head the government, enduring structures, structures that will have lasting. That's what he should be doing. He should, he should give Nigeria, put Nigeria on a sound footing so that once it's gone, his place in history will be guaranteed. Mr. Allah spent just six months. Oh, yes. But we still talk about but him. But two years. It's two years. We still talk about him. Our Lord did not even get a chance to rule Nigeria. We still talk about him. The same thing with Sadawna. None of those no, uh, noisy northern governors have been able to, to match one what Sadawna has done. Sadana, the, the whole north. Yes. The they can Sadawna. One of them was calling Sadawna and... Uh, I will uh, tribalist and the rest of them. But you've not been able to match anything uh, they've done. Despite the fact that you are given a small place to run, you can't even match what they've done. So the president has to rule the country effectively, unite us as a people, because from unite the us. look of things, oh. we are even more disunited yeah, now than, than, that, 2015. That, that, than 2015. Exactly. Because yeah. when Gulo Jonathan uh, was moving from church to church and all that, People felt oh, he was just trying to uh, whip right. religious, he just, religious just, uh, uh, sentiment. sentiment. Now, and that divided us. There are many who voted along religious lines and ethnic lines and all that. But it's a lot worse now. Based on some of the appointments that the president has been making. We said it here that the president should not who put a Nortana in the in, uh, to head the NIA. NI. And yet, that was many months ago. Many months. Okay. 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 The day we debated that, 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 we said it, that, that, because, that, the, because that, that uh, notion was already in the air, that who oh, did not want that position. Yeah. And I advised the president, I said, don't, don't name a Nortana in that position. It didn't stop the president from appointing yeah. someone from Kassina to so Somebody has paid you account. cannot they tell have. Nigerians that only people from a part of the country yes, are good enough mm -hmm. to hold security positions in our country. Oh, across you may, oh, you may well. have you may have uh, democratized other positions, yeah. but security yeah. positions yeah. it is it is key to people. Mm -hmm. It is key to people. You can't say that only people from a part of the country are good enough. I am from the north. 
Ah, from the north. Everybody nobody can, can nobody can, can, can take that away. Has it? But, <laughs> but the reality is, the reality by geography, by fact, I'm from the north. I was born in Zaria. Now, the, the truth is, the people from other parts of the country are worried about this. And this thing has caused the president a lot of support. The psychophants will not see, we know that is their stock in the They will not see all that. But we, who tell the president the truth all the time, we see these things. Even in the north, people are complaining, especially people even from the northwest, from Sokoto, from Zamfara, and other places that these appointments have to be spread. Not that Kassina in the not Kassina and the northeast mm. will be dominating uh, uh, all, all this. And even people from the north are completely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what they are know. saying is that because <laughs> what they are saying is that because the people close to the president are largely from the north yeah, from the, 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 and Kassina. Kassina. That, that, is why all, that is why that is why that so the re, so the president has to do a lot to make Nigeria to let Nigerians realize that uh, he's won. He can grant interviews here and there and say, "Look, I've been very fair." Whenever he says he's very fair, people will go and look at the list of those uh, security <laughs> positions. People occupy those security positions and ask themselves. It could even be over fair in other areas, but as long as those uh, the, those appointees, and uh, as long as they look at the list of those appointees in the security uh, se uh, sector, they will say, "Ah, you can't uh, say you are fair now." Yeah. So there are so many things that he needs to do. Mm. Okay, let me take this call. Ebuka is calling us from Joss. Thank you for joining us, Ebuka. Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening, Ebuka. Go ahead with your contribution. Okay. Okay, good evening, sir. Ebuka, stop listening okay. to yourself. Go ahead. Okay, I'll be listening to your program. Okay. It's very interesting. Thanks. Before Baba of Asia of Asia will come out publicly that. Okay, before Baba Abbasi will come out pop and clear the public and say Baba Abbasi should not your nor contest. So let me not be ashamed to him, guys, the Baba himself. Okay, okay. I think we are having problems with that. And uh, as you go, I, I so learned Bab uh, Baba Kondi and um, Baba uh, Ashwa as well as we are meeting now. So rough with him. Mm -hmm. with him now. Mm. So the president has to take the advice of those two uh, fellows seriously. Mm -hmm. Baba Akonde oh, yes. said some time ago that um, we are not doing well. well that's good and I've said it, a true friend, friend is the friend who tells yeah, you the truth to your face. Exactly. So he needs those people, not the psychophants. Hmm. Asuko? Yeah, so just like you said, the president, to me, he has done quite a lot, a lot particularly in terms of agreed. Because I know so many people, especially the youth, who are desirous of, you know, making life for themselves. They really keyed into the uh, present um, um, agreed project. project yes. You know? So it shouldn't just, because of this letter, it shouldn't sit down and begin to say, I've not done anything. He has done something. And he can key into it. This is one of the major. This is one of the major projects, um, one of the major achievements he has achieved. It's right, you know, which is the right project, yes, yes. and it's also moving and infrastructure, you know, and, mm -hmm. and from parts, particularly in the southeast, like the Enugu Potakos Road that was abandoned for many years. So, 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 you know, so, 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 done so many and people are not alighting this. So no, that is where if I were to be well, this, this, this night, what I would do is after reading this, he shouldn't just let people read for him. He should read it. Digest it and call his men. What, what is happening? What is really happening? Mm -hmm. Why are people not feeling my impact? Because it is from there, if they don't tell him the truth, he should now start listening to people who will look at him in the face and say, This and this, they are not doing this. He should not look at all these people and begin to speak his language. No, it shouldn't be about language issue. It should be about people who will tell him the truth. Should he come to? Because Nigerians. Really, see, I, I remember when we went for his election mm. and we saw the odds, mm. we saw how people the goodwill, the goodwill they had across people the board. across the board, mm. north, south, east. People, some people died because of Buhari, mm. and so many people are ready to do the same mm. because of one thing he has, and that is integrity. Mm. And so, he has to sit down and begin to look at okay, where am I faulting? Why did a passenger, he can even call a passenger this night mm. and tell him, you have told me the truth. 
and I will walk with this let's your meet, neighbor. Let's meet. Let's meet. You can hear. Yeah, you can even call him to ask him to come. Let's meet. Let's talk. Because this is a serious issue. Hmm. If he fail, like we are discussing in the newsroom, do you know the thousands and the millions of people that have their lives attached to this through that his own presidency? If he fails, it's like the whole country. That's why we're, that we're in trouble. It's like but we, we invested so much. So much. So much. So we have to sit down and not think about the so-called so few of, people the that kind are of, uh, The kind of uh, faith that we have in Buhari, we didn't have in Obasanjo. No, not even in Obasanjo. Obasanjo, Obasanjo does not have Buhari's integrity. No, no. Popular so, we, you know, so, so this is the person that Nigerians felt that, look, when it comes to fighting corruption, this man this will do man it. So you know? let him just sit so it's down. Important and that it's all those psychopaths around him. I think what we are, in fact, if I were to do Barry, what he should be thinking now is to rejig his cabinet completely. Well, I think uh, when we look at it, there are many areas where, where uh, the conduct of the president is disappointing. If the first president in Black Africa that will get a national mandate and have the opportunity of defeating an incumbent president, he did that. All Nigerians voted for him. He got a national mandate. All parts of Nigeria voted for him. Mm -hmm. Secondly, he was able to assemble cabinets, people that we know. And um, you, you cannot doubt him on three areas. He was able to stop rice, rice importation and reduce our importation by 80%. Mm -hmm. He was able to start a, a, a reconstruction of all the major rail lines in Nigeria. I, I have never seen any rail line, but at least he negotiated, he negotiated, he got to his yeah, house. I even see the all the have been intensified, intensified. At least he has been doing that. And when you can spend money on infrastructure, it means you are spending millions on people. Because when you are constructing roads and rail, thousands of people are getting employed. But I think the president shot himself in the feet by surrounding himself with a kitchen cabinet that has not seen beyond Katsina. When you a, a leader in Nigeria, you must have a broad-based national army. Take into consideration the fact that you run it alone in 2003, you did not win. 2007, you did not win. 2011, but in 2015, people from all parts of Nigeria, those who matter, yeah. came together and supported you, and you won. It's a sign that God wanted you there. But you now shrunk your personality and your visit to a small village that is just a minute part of Nigeria. All right, um, Tune, thank you for that. Now, as we are looking, as we are looking at well, the, um, the left side, we also should be looking at the right side. Yes. That if eventually Mr. President is saying, "Guys, I have to take a break," or I have to, I have to rest, that will be a big political realignment, Maybe. and that will alter the political calculation yep. that we have both in the People's Democratic That's Party in the All Progressive Congress. Yes. Now, the All Progressive Congress, now, Jimmy. If Mr. President decides not to run yes. <laughs> for this election, our election is in the next 13 months. See, yeah. the, there are many people who can contest. But can they win? Can they win? That is the issue. To me, up to now, when I look at that party, is still Buhari that has the capacity mm -hmm. to deliver victory. Yeah. Whatever Basson just says, is still Buhari in that APC that can guarantee victory, no doubt about it. Who, if, if any of those governors, some of them can't win beyond their state. Some, some can't even win their state. Mm -hmm. I, I, win I, I don't know whether I can win Kaduna <laughs> or even Kaduna. I don't know whether Rufai can win. But the truth is, can you put Aero 5 on the ballot and expect that you will get the kind of national cross northern support yes. that Buhari always gets? Yeah. And then we are beginning to see even a softening of position from the southeast mm -hmm. against uh, in favor of Buhari, mm. with some governors even aligning with him. Exactly. It's possible even before the election that some governors exactly. could join the APC. Exactly. So that's what puts him in a position of strength. It's difficult for me to say, oh, if he does not contest, that this is the person who can win for the APC. I can't, I, honestly, it's not difficult for me to point at that person. Not a minute, because it's not, uh, I don't deceive myself. 
Samwa's elder brother is my very good friend. But I don't think he has reached that level. Because I'll say the truth, no matter the situation, this is what I see. This is the person. You know I said it that Buhari appears like he has used Juju for people in northern Nigeria. They were, they, they've been on the oh, no. in Kaduna, they were on the field. They, they, they were on the field. Who was suffering so for this? But the moment they saw him, they all ran to the to school. They left. They forgot their yeah, history. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. forgot their fame. Yeah. 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 So that is the thing. God has given him that popularity that money cannot buy. That's it. Yeah. That is why he still remains an asset to his party. I think that this president, the best he can do for himself and for us all, is to listen to our advice. I am not saying he should not contest, because I do not see a situation as irredeemable. But he should listen to the advice. Look at that speech, that letter by Obasanjo, and try to uh, change the way he runs the country. If he can do that, he will give greater hope to people. And his approval rating will, will, will go up. Maybe after that, People will not be talking about uh, the need for, for Buhari to step down. No, that, but if he doesn't uh, listen and he continues to run things the way he's running things, you will see more people coming out to disown him. You will see people, more Galina parts of this world coming exactly. out. You will see more people publicly disowning him the way Obasanjo has okay. done. So that is, that is the way I, 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 I see this thing. As you got no positions on this? No, I, just like you have said, the president has to take our advice. We are, we are like his friend, telling him the truth. And we are telling him right now, what you should do is, to me, Fiji, your cabinet, you have 13 months for you to decide if, if you will run or not. Or even less than that, because by August, you know, so campaigns less will start. Than six months. So he has from February. now till the end of February to decide if his body can carry him. To me, he has to rejig his cabinet. Nigerians want to see freshness. In this government, yeah, I think for the no, sake of young people in Nigeria, the president should rejig his government and take a second look at his party. He should not. Uh, I think he threw away the party immediately he became the president of Nigeria, and that is unfortunate. Nobody is indispensable in any nation of the world because whether you like it or not, even if he wins a second term, is he going to go in for a short term? There must be a Nigerian somewhere that can deliver Nigeria. Wow, I'm not on Olusegun. Of Passenger's letter, I'm sure this is a running story. I'm sure by tomorrow we have the, the better insights into this letter. But we're always the first to to do this. And I want to thank you, Tunde Abasan, for your contribution today. Asuko James, I want to thank you for your informed contribution. And Babajide Kolabi with Soju for always blazing the truth. And that's it on Journalist Stangam. Join us tomorrow for another interesting episode of the program. You can watch the repeat tonight at 11, and you can also watch Journalist Hangout on our platforms, showing on the screen. You can also watch us on YouTube, that's youtube.com slash TBC News Nigeria. Our feedback channel is Journalist Hangout at tbcnews.tv. I am Ayodili Uzubahu. Bye for now, and God bless Nigeria. Well, <clears throat> that is it. God bless Nigeria. For those of you that are watching, um, I hope we've been able to pick one or two information, um, regardless of the letter, a lot of people, uh, have been talking about it, but the most important thing is to advise someone to get their PVC in readiness for the 2019 election. Uh, we cannot vote on Facebook, so it is better to just advise someone close to you to make sure that they have their PVC. Thank you very much. Again, as usual, my name is Olayomi Koiki. We will be bringing so much analysis of this at 12 p.m. tomorrow. Um, we'll be having um, Femi Aratopun. We'll be speaking live on TVC right here from London, uh, looking at the issues of the farmer and the headsmen. Uh, so make sure you are part of that. Um, if you're going to be in your workplace, you can stay tuned and be rest assured that I'll be bringing it to you live. If there's anything you still want us to bring live to you or you want us to be part of what you are doing um, as a business, as an individual, do let me know. I will make sure we try our own little best to bring it to you. Uh, there's going to be a very important barrier on Monday. Uh, one of the, um, you know, our own that died here in the United Kingdom will be buried on Monday. And, um, you know, may so rest in perfect peace. Once again, God bless.
Federal Republic of Nigeria. Good night from wherever you're watching and we'll be back again sometime soon.